something really cool that I got to do today was visit with Team 4334 of the Alberta Tech Alliance, which is a team in the first robotics um, competition for Ultimate Ascent. And essentially what the contest involves is building a robot. And with this robot, it has to actually throw Frisbees into a target. And you get points for every time um, that the robot throws Frisbees into that target. It was super cool. Um, I got to hang out with these guys for a couple hours. They're 25 on their team. So I got to talk to about six or seven of them. And most of them were in grade 11. And this was their second year doing this robotics competition. Last year, they actually finished in the top, um, I guess, the top 12 teams of 400 teams at Worlds last year in St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, so they're back at it again this year, hoping to, um, you know, compete at Worlds and do well at Worlds again. And it was really neat hanging out with them. For me, the biggest thing is spending time with people that are passionate about what they do. And, and these kids definitely were passionate. Um, it was amazing to know how much time they've put into their robot. You know, over a period of five days, just before they had to submit the robot, they were spending 12 hours a day building this and refining it and testing it and everything like that. So it was super cool to see that. One of the neatest things about this was actually talking to them about the, the physics of the Frisbee and just finding out uh, the process that they went through and all the different, you know, studies that they were reading and the videos that they were watching to try and figure out how to actually launch this Frisbee from the robot. And so what they were using was they were using this um, rubber wheel. And I was kind of surprised. I had seen a few videos online. <clears throat> there was a video from Dalhousie University, a bunch of grad students who had used, I think, rollerblade wheels um, or longboard wheels. And these guys are using a, a bigger wheel. Um, they were finding, you know, more contact was good. And actually, when I was watching, they hit probably about 30 in a row, which was really cool. And what was neat about the watching it is they would just adjust the RPMs of the disc. And a little bit less of an RPM on that uh, wheel would actually cause the disc to go, you know, an inch or, you know, further or an inch shorter um, to get, to hit that target. So it was, it was really neat. And it, it sort of proves to me that it is all about the spin um, when you're throwing that. It, that's how you control it. So it was kind of cool talking to those kids about that and uh, just listening to, the, you know, their stories about how they built it and the time that they've put into it and, and just getting to hang out with some kids who are really passionate.